So you're gonna knock this rust off and then you're gonna paint it? Yeah. Yeah, you got it looking good. Is that a battery? Yeah. Well, don't let me stop you. Yeah, you see, you put your gate across here, that way you can pull your vehicle in here. Out of out of out of uh, battery? No, I got I got to change my. Say I got a grinding or a cutting wheel down there instead of that. Instead of that. De rust. Yeah. All right. Well, you got it looking good. Got it looking good. Yeah, it's 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 getting a little better. You was telling me you're a surveyor. You had surveyed in the past. Thirty-five years. Yeah. Yeah. We got in a conversation talking about surveying, and I, I, I started surveying in 1979 for the Corps of Engineers, and meet him, and he's a surveyor. I started in 1961. Yeah. September the 11th, in fact. Yeah. They dang sure wasn't no total stations back then. They was just chains and plumb bobs. Did y'all use Kaiser blades? The no. big blade with a hook on the end oh, of it? Yeah. We didn't call them Kaiser blades. We just call them brush hooks. But brush hooks, yeah. yeah. I've got one today. Yeah, man. I tell you, if you're gonna clear something, that's what you need. It eventually got to where the Corps engineers, because we towed it on our shoulder, you know, like put it across our mm -hmm. shoulder, and uh, if you tripped or something, it, that hook could get you in the juggler. So they come up with all kinds of reasons to quit doing it, and then they even then outlawed uh, certain kinds of machetes. And what the hell are we supposed to cut with? I think, though, I told you wrong on that. We call them brush hooks, but I think they were different than your Kaiser hook. The ones we had had a like a four-foot handle, a curved handle oh. on the end, and then a, the blade was about probably 16 inches long. But these had a it. these had dang near a, a three-foot straight straight handle handle yeah, on I it. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, them yeah. things were tough. I could take down some trees. You know, it'd be like 15 inches. I could take it down in three, four whacks. That's what we'd do. Start off the morning, everybody say, hey, who can cut the fastest with the least blows? Because we'd spend time sharpening them blades. Well, we didn't, yeah, we we did too, but uh, we didn't have any chainsaws for, oh, until I see, I'd probably worked between five and 10 years. We got the first chainsaw. But to cut the big trees, we had double bit axes. Yeah. And sometimes it was, uh, we had chainsaws, but a lot of times we were on core projects and it took more safety equipment to get out to rig that up to just cut something. So we just we we just cut it with the Kaiser blades. But when I, we really had to do uh, a lot of chainsaw work, they subbed it out to like a tree trimmer type people. But I, man, we used to cut line for miles. You could look through it and it'd be so pretty. I wish I had a video camera way back then. Yeah, yeah we did too. We worked in some pretty rough country down in the southeast part of the state. Yeah, did you hit any briars, oh, briar thickets? Oh yeah, you always knew if your line was in the right place because you'd always hit multiple rows. Yeah, well, in, in Louisiana, you knew you was in the right place. You'd hit the briars, and then on the other side of the briars, it would be swamp, and it'd yeah. be so green, you could see a trail of an alligator done went through there. Yeah. But they'd tell you, get on in there anyway and take them dang, take them dang shots. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, were some, they were some rough folks back then. They'd make you jump off in that water first thing oh, in yeah. the morning, knowing they could have. You know, once I caught on, I realized that we could have topoed around that thing, and we could have just figured figured average for all those shots across that swamp. But no, they want to be assholes and put us in that water. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's what you get. So you, you get all these uh, educated people, and uh, they come up with all that stuff. And they do things two or three times. It's unnecessary, but anyway. Yeah, the, the engineer types, the ones that draw things up, and they never surveyed. All they'd done was sit in the office, and when they did come out and do anything, it was the very minimum, and it'd be the cool of the day when you ever did see them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, nice talking to you. You got it Got it looking good. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully it'll get to looking a little better. I guess get this painted and fixed up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's going to look great. 